is we will see the algorithm implementation of the uh, depth first search of graph traversal here um, in this uh, we have declared a matrix called adjacency matrix which is of type 10 by 10 here i have only nine nodes this is the graph which we are going to try for this algorithm since we have nine nodes i extra i have given 10 by 10 but actually if you have more nodes then you have to increase the adjacency by say for example 15 nodes mean here you can declare 15 by 15 so even you can declare 9 by 9 that is okay here but i have just given 10 by 10 uh, then we have declared the sum of the local variables and the stk this i considered as, as a stack array stack array then top is the pointer top pointer for the stack and we uh, variable in which we are getting going to read the uh, static point then visit and visited two more arrays we are going to use visited is once you have printed that value then you make this to be one saying that it is visited and visit when you are going to visit then this will be manipulated now we will see how we are going to get the uh, read the adjacency matrix adjacency matrix is nothing but when there is a path from one node to unknown. When the, when I say a path, here we have direction. So one to two only we have direction, not two to one. So when you enter adjacency matrix, one to two you will be entering uh, one as the it has a path. But from two to one there is no path. So far we will see how we are going to get the matrix. So first we get the enter the number of vertices, which is nothing but nine here. The number of edges you have to count the edges: one, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, and 9. So, 9 edges are there. So, that you have to get it as an input. Then, uh, what you are you are going to get the adjacency matrix. Okay. So, enter from vertex and you enter 2 vertex. In this case, from vertex you have to give 1 and 2 vertex you have to give 2. Which means saying that there is a edge. Same way you have to say where are all the edges. That only you have to give it. Say for example, I have 2 to 6 means here from vertex 2 and uh, here 2 vertex is 6. So how this will be reading? How after uh, entering this, how your output, uh, the matrix will look like? Here, this is the matrix. So for example, I have this 1, 2, 9. Uh, the last, uh, I am entering all these things to be a 0. Here first you say 1 to 1, there is no there is no self loop. Same way, 2 to 2, there is no loop. So, here, uh, 1 to 2, there is an edge. So, how you will be entering? Here, 1 to 9. Here, also 1 to 9. So, 1 to 2, 1 and 2. Uh, this is some. Yeah, nothing but. Here, um, this. Okay, alignment problem. So here, if you see that, this is the vertex and vertex. So adjacency matrix can be written with uh, number of uh, uh, rows as vertex, uh, number of uh, vertex will form the number of rows, and number of columns also uh, is equal to number of vertex. That is why, one, uh, 9 to 9. So if there is a path between the two vertex, then you will be writing a 1, or else you will be writing a 0. Here, 1 to 2 is that. So 1 and 2. So if you said there is a path. So I enter 1. Uh, then 2 to 6. All the other things 1 to see here 1 to 2 we have entered 1. Then 1 to 4. So 1 to 4 is there. Then 1 to 5 is there. That is 1 to 5 is there. Same way here 2 to 6. 2, 2 to 3 is there. So I have entered here. And 2 to 6 is there. So, in that intersection, you will be writing. Likewise, you form. See here, 4. 4 means uh, there is uh, no uh, uh, nodes arising from 3 as well as 6. So, 3, I have entered all 0. If you don't enter, automatically it will enter the 0. So, that is what the algorithm do. So, here it will put only uh, uh, wherever the data is there, there only it will put the 1. You'll get only the number of edges as the input. So according to our algorithm, see here, m 
so number of edges so it runs nine times because we have counted nine edges so in those places only it will enter the as one so here four four after four you have five four to seven is that so four to seven we have entered then five five to seven see here five to seven is that then six six there is no um edges coming out of that there is no out degree and this we consider only the out degree then seven here uh seven to eight is the then eight to nine is the and nine that is no self loop so nine to nine that is the thing so this is the adjacency matrix so once you run this uh this coding your adjacency matrix will be like this so based on that only we are going to evaluate the algorithm so we'll see here enter the initial vertex to traverse from that is what this is the output i have pasted on. enter initial vertex traverse from so i am starting from one which is nothing but this let me copy this also here so that okay Yes. This is adjacent symmetric. This is the graph for this. Now, enter the initial matrix. This is the output I have pasted. Enter the initial matrix to transform. So, we are going to start from 1. Then, uh, so that we are getting it in B. DFS order of is third vertices. That is printed. Then, we first print the 1, the first uh, source. So, we, we are printing it here. Then, we make this third of 1. Uh, already I told you we are using a, uh, two more arrays, visited and visit. So first we are making it as one, so that we will not revisit that. That is the main thing, isn't it? Once visited, we should not print it. Uh, so first that we uh, make that to be one because we are going to check this, whether it has been visited or not. Using this only, we are going to find out. Then we are initializing a variable until it becomes less than or equal to number of vertices. Less than n, we visit. We use a for loop where we start from n start from n means from this way that is from right to left that is why i said from right to left we are going to push it to the star so if you see that in this so so here to see that first we uh, right, print the value of one and then what are all the adjacency so here from j of n to 9 to greater than or equal to 1 we pass this so when we take k is equal to 1 that is first row so we are using k for uh, the rows okay then j for the columns so adjacency of v comma j so what is v just now we have visited 1 so for 1 here 1 will be substituted and j will be 9 initially 1 comma 9 is it equal to 0 if it is not equal to 0 only you will go here so here it is 0 then again this loop will go 1 comma 8 so 1 comma 8 is also 0 1 comma 7 is also 0 1 comma 6 is also 0 so on all those things it will not go inside then 1 comma 5 when it say 1 comma 5 it is not equal to 0 it has some value and then instead of j, 5 is not visited. It is not equal to, initially we made them to be 0. So it is not equal to, set, it is not set, uh, it is not equal to 1. So uh, initially 0. So it is equal to 0 only. Then visit of, uh, that is also 0. So if it set 1 means it is, we have visited and it should not be printed. Okay. So it should not be again pushed into the stack, hop and printed. Since it is already, it is not visited, here it will give 0. Visited of uh, 5 will be 0 and visited of j also will be 0. So it go inside this if class. So and then we make that to be, since we are visiting, we make that to be 1. So here after 5 should not be uh, set uh, as uh, not visited. So then we push that, we this we call it as STK. So here we push that value, which is nothing but 5. What is the j value? It is 5. So that we are pushing. So we are moving from uh, right to left. Then top plus. Now top is here. And then what again? It go inside and so on. So here the next one is 4. So 1 comma 4. 
it is not equal to 0. So, this will be made and again here 4 will be made equal to 1 and then top equal to j which is nothing but 4. 4 is push into the step and then when it comes to 2 again we push into the 2 we push into the stack. Then what we will do the for loop will be over here we come we pop the topmost element which is nothing but 2. So already we have printed 1 then this will be print top up and we assign it to b. Now v becomes 2 so that we are printing. So we are printing and then k plus plus k is already 1 since one row is over. Now k becomes 2 and then again it go inside n is uh, as you should 9. So n, the n is meant for the column and k is meant for all the rows. So we are scanning like this from left from right to left we scan. So again it is from 9 to j is 9 to till it becomes 1. So what you would adjacency here already the v is 2. So 2 and 9. We check 2, 9. No, it is not equal to, uh, that is, it is equal to 0. So, it skip. Now, when it comes here, uh, that is 2, 6, it is not equal to 0. So, here we make uh, that to be a 1 and then, actually here we make that visit v equal to 0 and visited v. We are going to take this all, this only into a consideration as visited. Now, we make it that to be 1. So, 2 is, 1 is made visitor and 2 is also made visitor. Then here, when it comes here, 6, that is 2, 6, it is 1. So, what happens? It makes that to be 1, 1. Uh, because when it go inside, it may come across again and again. That is why inside the loop, we make this to be 1 and then when it comes, we make it to 0. But visitor is, uh, for each uh, node, we make only one time as visitor. Okay, this in this is inside the loop because we are going to make all the we are going to scan all these things. In each time, this uh, vertex will come. That is why here we make it as one time visitor and then visit as one. And then when it comes out of the loop, we make that to be zero. Whereas here this is permanent. And then uh, what happens here? One uh, that is six. So what we do? We just erase this because we have and then uh, its neighborhood is uh, 6 so that we are pushing and then this is 5 4 3 again the 3 is pushed into the stack then when it comes to the next thing now we are going to pop this 3 and print it here because that is the top of the stack and then we make the 3 to be visitor so so we make three to be visitor so it will not be pushed into the stack again now what happens uh, now this has been written and then we are checking the neighborhood of three so when we say here v is three and we pass when we go through all are zero so it skip nothing is done so now the next is uh, it comes and it comes here pop up the top of the stack is again pop and we print which is nothing but our 6. So here now this will get erased since we are popped and then we increment the k. k is now 4. Okay 4. Then visit uh, now we make a uh, visit array to be 0 so that the next time it will go through all these things. So this visit v is for this uh, column wise where a visited b is for this row wise. Then here we made and visited b that we are making 6, visited of 6 to be 0. So how our uh, array looks like, our visitor, it's like this. So if we say this to be 1, so this to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. According to this algorithm, this will be, uh, this is a visited, if you imagine, this is a visited array, you make that to be 1, this to be 1, 3 to be 1, 6 to be 1, all these things will be 0. So, whenever you visited, you keep updating this array. And then, so here, next comes 4, 
in four when it comes seven is the neighborhood when you come here let us not go through this because already i think you are familiar with that so we'll go through this adjacency so here seven will be pushed into the stack then what happens all others are zero now according to this algorithm the for loop is over and now the top again it pop and then now it will be popped seven is popped and then it will be written into the this so here one two three six and then i think i have missed something so first it will be pushing five four and then two um, i just uh, i go through this algorithm there is a mistake i have done okay initially it is pushing the five four and then two okay now the two already one is returned and then two is popped and that will be also returned okay and then two i am going through now six so i am pushing the value six uh, and then three so these two values we are pushing now again what we do is we pop the topmost element three and then we write it so when i see three when i push uh, when i pop three now i scan the three third row there is nothing to be pushed so just i remove this because since we have popped this the next element to be pop is six so that we are writing it here so now i remove this also okay and then uh, six i am going through the six and i'm checking its neighborhood there is no neighborhood of six so i pop four so and write it so this also will be removed from the stack and then four now i go through the fourth row here uh, nine eight and then seven is there so now i push it into the stack and then again uh, we pop pop the seven and write it and then what we do we erase it because we have popped okay then seven is return now seventh row i am scanning here i have the eight the value eight a node eight so that we are again we push it to the star and then eight we are scanning here we have uh, uh, we pop the stack top of the stack okay and we print it and then just i erase it because i have popped and then we push the uh, we scan it we have nine so you push it and then uh, push it and then you pop it and write down and check its neighborhood there is no neighborhood of nine there is no adjacent uh, adjacent nodes so already i have popped it and return and then anything is any adjacent node is there that has to be pushed into the stack but here there is no adjacent node of nine so now finally there is one more element left in the top uh, so that i am also popping up so and then here uh, i write it here now i when i go through it seven is there but by the time seven is already visited so we should have made uh, seven also when we come across seven you should have made that also to be one so it cannot be pushed if it is not equal to one only you will push into the stack and then pop so now if you see that this is the output three this is the expect uh, output which when run this uh, for this graph so it matches so this is how you do a dfs so that is first one and then five four two that is in the same level and then for this level you take and then you scan from uh, right to left and push them and then print them and then you take this and then go inside you take this and push push and then pop all these things if there is any neighborhood of this you may any adjacency you print that finally you come to this uh, this uh, five and three so it will be like this like this